Okay, guys, we are back. It is Fan Mail Friday again, and you guys absolutely overflowed my entire post office box. They had to give me a key to another separate box so that I could get everything. I've got, like, this stack of stuff here. I got another big envelope under that. We got some more here. I got this whole big stack of things here. So you guys really overdid yourselves this week. And again, if you want to do it again next week, feel free to send me anything you want. I'll open it in the next Fan Mail Friday video, and I will put my P.O. box right down there in the description. So we have a whole bunch of stuff to get to here. I'm going to try to go a little bit faster than I usually do because we have so much stuff. But uh, let's go ahead and start with this one right here. This one is from Lucas in Lindenhurst, New York. I don't want to cut anything that might be in these packages. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we have a little letter here, and then we have something else in here. Look at this. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's zero. Yes. I think zero, if I'm remembering correctly. It's the only one or one of the only ones that I did not get when I opened the Nightmare Before Christmas uh, plush blind bags. So there he is. That is so hilarious. Look at the tiny little pumpkin nose. That is so awesome. Thank you so much, Lucas. Um, let me get to the letter here or picture. Okay, here we go. Here it is. It says, Dear Nate, I love your videos. Glad your Nightcrawler nachos tasted good. Oh, they were delicious. Here. Have this zero with his punky nose. <laughs> Lucas, I don't have a YouTube channel. That's all right, Lucas. Thank you so much. There is the letter. And there is zero with his little punky nose. Thank you so much, Lucas. I love it. All right, next let's do... How about this one right here? Now, this one, I don't know. The return address just says... Shipping manager from Paramus, New Jersey. So I don't know who sent this. Um, maybe there's something inside that says. Um, I don't think it's anything that I just ordered from anywhere because I usually give them my home address. Oh, my gosh. Oh, how cool is this? Look at this, guys. Mystery Garbage Pail Kids bags. How cool is that? Oh my gosh, I am so excited right now. These are from 2022. All right, I got to open them. Let's see what's in these things. Here we go. Okay, what is it? What will it be? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, look at this one, guys, right here. If I'm not mistaken, at least one of the names for that one was Toothy Ruthie. And that looks like it's an exclusive. Is it an exclusive? No. Okay. It's Junk Food John. That's what it's called. Junk Food John. I hope you can see that clearly. That is hilarious. And let's see who the other one is. Oh, how cool are these things? I'm so excited. <laughs> Staren Darren. Oh my gosh. Look at that guy. I, he looks like he's kind of blurry in the picture. I'm sorry if he is. There we go. I know. I had to put him in front of my face. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. He has all those eyes all over his body and even on the back. And he has like a periscope or a telescope, whatever you call that thing. So cool. All right. I couldn't resist. I had to open those. Thank you from the shipping manager in Paramus, New Jersey. Whoever you are, no letter with it, no note to say who these are actually from, but they're so cool. Okay, let's do one of our little letters here. Okay, here we go. Now, this one is from Selena, I believe the name is. Wow, that's a big, thick one. Dang. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got some pictures. Um. <laughs> All right, it says... Nate, thanks for all your content and for all your enthusiasm in your videos. My daughter, Selena, will be turning six on January 27th. Happy birthday, Selena. I believe the 27th is tomorrow, if not, not mistaken. And thanks to you 
has made something as small as going to Spirit Halloween Store so much fun. She was so excited to send you fan mail, but we're still working on writing. So here is a quick guide. Picture one is me, the possessed pumpkin, and Crouchy. So that's this one right here. <laughs> we got me, the possessed pumpkin, and Crouchy in that one. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Okay. Two is me, their cat Penny, and Selena lighting a Christmas tree. Okay, so that's this one here. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. And then number three is, from left to right, me, Sally, Jack Skellington, Zero, and Selena. And here that is right here. And I love this. This one was drawn with one of those sparkly pens. So everything is sparkly on there. How cool is that? Thank you so very much, Selena. I love these pictures and your letter so very much. Oh my gosh, there's so much here, guys. All right, let's move on to the next one here. This one is from Bryce or Bryson. I'm not sure. Uh, Hoop, Hoopenston, Illinois on Elm Street. Holy crap. Elm Street of all places. All right, let's get this open here. Okay, it says, Dear Nate, this is Bryson. I watch all of your videos. I'm a really big fan of you, Nate. I watch your Spirit Halloween videos all the time. So this is why I'm writing this note. Thank you so much, Bryson. I love your note. <laughs> and look at this. On the back, there's a sticker. What the heck is that? It's like a little crab or something. A friendly crab. <laughs> and I hope I got that name right. If I didn't, I apologize. Okay, so let's go ahead and do another one of these. This one is from Hayden in Hampton, Virginia. Hello, Nate. Me and my brothers, Evan, Jackson, Karsten, and London, or Landon, I'm not sure which one, have been obsessed with your Halloween videos this year and even made one of our own called The Chainsaw Has Possessed Us. How cool is that? Halloween Shopping 2022. We have also bought a lot of our own animatronics, while our favorite being Monty, the first one we got. What's your favorite animatronic? Okay, so here's the letter, and they gave me a couple of Minion stickers on there, too. Whew, I gotta tell you, every time somebody asks me what my favorite animatronic is, my answer is pretty much always the same, and that's Hugs. I love Hugs. He's like one of my favorite animatronics ever. I don't know why there's just something about him that's so cool and so unique. Maybe it's the purple hair. I'd have to also say, though, that one of my top favorites is the Collector. The Collector is huge. He's awesome. All right, guys, thank you so very much for that. Let's move on to the next one, and let's do one of these big ones here. This one is from Liberty in Fallensby, West Virginia. Go ahead and get this open. Okay, here we go. So we got a letter. Wow, that's a long one. Okay, let's see what else we got. We got a couple of pictures. <laughs> we got a Johnny Punk here. <laughs> what are those? We have a possessed pumpkin. Look at that. What good drawings those are. Okay, so the letter says, Dear Nate, my name is Liberty. I've been watching your videos for about a year or two. I have been wanting to meet you for a while now and never got the chance. I love your Spirit Halloween videos. They are my favorite. I rewatch them every single day. Thank you so much. What was your favorite animatronic of the 2022 season? Whew, that's a tough one, but I got to say, it probably it, it, it kind of rules out Grimm, who is behind me here, if you can see him, because Grimm was actually from 2021. But I'd have to say for 2022, probably my favorite one was um, uh, Straw Man. Is that what his name was? For some reason, that doesn't seem right. But, you know, the straw man. <laughs> and it's funny because he was probably my favorite from the whole season, and I did not buy him. If he shows up in a store next year, I just might buy him. But we'll see. Okay. So it says, I personally love the Possessed Pumpkin. I always get so happy when I saw him. I love Possessed Pumpkin. I also have him in the background. Yeah, you can see him right there. Possessed Pumpkin right there waiting to be put together. I also have another question. Do you write back to your fans? Sometimes I do. And when I tore off the edge here, I made sure I tore it off from the opposite side of your address. 
So if I get some time here, because I always have tons of videos I'm filming and editing and everything, um, you just might get a letter back. I would love a letter back from me. My birthday is coming up. I'm going to be 17. Happy birthday. Which videos do you like making more? Halloween, Christmas, or the Saturday night snack in a movie? Okay, so I love Halloween. I love making my Halloween videos. I like making Christmas videos too. They're just not as fun as Halloween because Halloween has things that jump up and scare you. So I think that the Halloween videos are more fun. And Saturday Night Snack in a Movie, I definitely love making that. But it is much more of an investment of time. It takes me about two full days to make an episode of Saturday Night Snack in a Movie. So I'm so glad when I find out that people are watching them and enjoying them. And any of you who are not watching, watch on Saturday nights, Saturday Night Snack in a Movie. We pick a movie, we make a snack, and we have an awesome night. Also, do you still do the personalized cameos? I would love to get one for my birthday. Yes, I do. Just Google that Nate Guy cameo and you will find me. Every time I'm sad, I turn on your videos. I have the biggest smile on my face. I hope you have a good day or night. I'm not sure when you will receive this letter. It is daytime, by the way. If I buy stickers, is there any possible way for you to sign them? Yes, when you buy stickers, I actually send a, a card that has my little logo on it from one of the stickers, and I sign and write a little thing on there like, beware of Hugs the Clown or something like that, and then I sign it. And then it says, P.S., can you possibly go to Spirit in St. Clairsville, Ohio this year, please? I will try my best. I really was trying to get there this past season, and I just never made it up that way. But yes, I'm really going to try to get there this next season. So that is from Liberty. Thank you so very much, Liberty. I love it. I love your pictures. Thank you so very, very much. Okay, let's do the other big envelope we have here. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, I love Fan Mail Friday. You guys rule. Okay, this one is from Mason in Brick, New Jersey. Look. <laughs> oh my gosh, on the back it has a picture. Slimer has a butt. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. To that Nate guy on YouTube, I love your content so much, and without you, I would not know how great Spirit Halloween is. Awesome. My favorite video that you made was a Spirit Halloween 2022 flagship grand opening because that is where your new name for nozzles was made. Hot nozzles. And that name is hilarious. I also think so. It looks just like a jalapeno pepper. I also met you that day. Ah, oh, so cool. It was the best day ever and you signed my Willy's Wonderland shirt for me. I remember that. How cool. I highly appreciate it. I met you in Brick Thunder that day, and we got to see the trailer for the Spirit Halloween movie. That was a totally awesome day. That movie is awesome, but I wish you were in it. Believe me, I wish I was in it too, and I tried to get in it, but I was too late. I can't wait for Halloween to come again. I wish every day was Halloween, and I hope to see you again at flagship opening for 2023. Yes, I will be there. I hope you read this on video because I would love to see you reading my letter and to get your reaction. You rock, dude. Oh my gosh, and look at this. We got... Johnny Punk shoes there, too. <laughs> what are those? It even says P.S. What are those? Love your biggest fan, a.k.a. Mason. And his YouTube channel is FNAF Show or at FNAF Show 2696. Make sure you go over there and check out his channel, guys. Oh, that was so cool. Thank you so much, Mason. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a seriously long video. If I've opened one of your packages here, or if I open one that's coming up, and I'm reading your letter, and I like kind of only put parts of it in, it's just because they're such long letters, and I love them. But if I read the whole thing, it'll make this video like two hours long. Okay, so this one here is addressed to that Nate guy in Little Nate. And if you guys don't know yet, Little Nate is my son. He has the channel called That Other Nate Guy on YouTube. Make sure you go over there and subscribe to him and check out some of his videos. He makes some pretty awesome things out of Play-Doh and he does all the Halloween stuff too. So let's go ahead and get this one open. And again, this one is for both me and my son. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we got Little Nate and Big Nate. So let's go ahead and do Big Nate first. And I did check, and I am supposed to open these in the video. So let's go ahead and get these done here. It's like an envelope inside an envelope inside an envelope. Okay, to that Nate guy on YouTube, handle with care. Okay, I'm handling with care. 
It's taped up so much. Oh my gosh, I want to make sure that I don't hurt anything that might be inside when I open this. So it looks like I can cut it just right across the top there. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in here. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> okay, so we got a little letter here. And then we have some candy. I love candy. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we got a couple of these candy chocolates here. We have a couple of candy eyeballs here. We have a little pin that is a four-leaf clover. That's awesome. I need some good luck. And then we have these things here, which are actually, if, if I'm looking at these right, these, I believe, are little finger lights. Yes! Okay, so it's got this little thing here that you put on your finger like that. And then you turn it on. And look at this. It's a little light. So you can, like, go outside ghost hunting and look around in the dark. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> look at that picture. How cool is that? Okay, it says, Hi, Nate. Your Spirit Halloween videos are so awesome. Also, could you visit my local Spirit Halloween? It is located in Bristol, Connecticut. Also, I cannot wait to see you at the flagship store this year. I love your Saturday night snack and a movie every Saturday night. Hope you like the drawing on the back of the paper. I love it. Check the back of the paper for the drawing. <laughs> your true fan, Josh. What are those? And it says, subscribe to that Nate guy on YouTube. And once again, there's the picture. We got Spirit. It says, Mr. Punchy, Shorty, to that Nate guy, Lord Raven, a.k.a. Lord Farquaad, 2023 flagship store. From your true fan, Josh, Zombie Babies, Ghostface, Little Skelly Bones, that Nate guy on Halloween, what are those? And Grim. What an awesome picture. Very good job, Josh. And thank you so much for all this awesome stuff you sent me. Okay. And then we got the package for Little Nate. And this is also from Josh. Okay. <laughs> so here we go. We got another finger light here. We have more candy eyeballs. And then we have two other pieces of chocolate candy that are Halloween themed. Mmm, you gotta love Halloween candy. Dear Nate, thank you for all the wonderful Play-Doh creations. We love them. Your cameos are wonderful and you make us laugh. So yeah, before I go any farther, I'll just tell you, that's my son. He makes a lot of Play-Doh creations and Play-Doh characters from Spirit Halloween and otherwise on his channel. It's called That Other Nate Guy on YouTube. And he also has a cameo as well, if you'd like to order one from him. He says, you have made my son so happy to receive the Play-Doh creations and the cameos. I hope that our support helps you and your family. From Lisa. All right, awesome. Thank you so much, Lisa. I will make sure that Nate gets this. And then there's another note in here. And this one is from Josh to uh, little Nate. To that other Nate guy on YouTube from your awesome fan, Josh. Hi, Nate. Your creations are amazing. Love your spirit Halloween videos. P.S. Drawing coming in the mail shortly for you. Subscribe. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. I will make sure that little Nate gets all this awesome stuff from you. We have another package here, and this is also from Josh. So let's go ahead and open this one here. Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Okay. Hi, Nate. We have a letter coming to you in the mail, but if you do not get it by the time you get this box, it should hopefully come in soon. Skelly Bones, hope you enjoy this great gift box from your awesome fan, Josh. Awesome. Thank you so much. I just read your letter, and let's see what is in this box here. We got a bouncy ball. Oh, look at this now. We got a pumpkin. I think it's a stamper. Oh, yes. I can't tell in the light, <laughs> but it's stamped a pumpkin on my hand. Okay, we got a flashlight. That will come in handy because I always have to go outside to the RV and it's always creepy and scary and spooky because it's always at night. I never remember in the daytime. Then we have a little trophy cup. It must be my trophy for being the best YouTuber ever. We have another bouncy ball. We have some pencils. 
Open very carefully. Don't break the item inside. Okay, let's go ahead and be very careful. Okay, very good packing job, by the way, here. Oh my gosh, this is all... <laughs> this is all, like, plastic wrap. Like, 150 wrappings of plastic wrap. I'm so excited that I can't get it unwrapped. How long did it take to wrap this up? It's Play-Doh. Okay, I can smell it's definitely Play-Doh. It, it says, what are those? <laughs> Okay, so there's the Play-Doh that says, what are those? All right, almost done. Is that me or Johnny Punk? What the heck? I think it's me because it looks like the hat I wear. And it looks like I have a beard. Yep, there it is, guys. Look at that. It's me, even with my hat on. It says JR on it. And then we got the little thing here. That says, what are those? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cool. I can't believe that made it through the mail in one piece. Oh, all right, Josh, thank you so very much for that awesome package, the letters and everything. All right, guys, so I'm going to cut this off right here and I'm going to do a part two because there's just so much stuff. This one's already long enough. And I still have like this entire stack right here to go, as well as another box, another big envelope over here. So I'm going to cut this off here and make a part two for the rest of the stuff. So if you sent me something and you haven't seen it yet, come back for part two very shortly.